it's time. Two weeks ago, I announced the first ever beat battle on our Discord server with this sample. And the winner gets to release their track as a collab with me, with my good friends over at Sfaller Chill. So, winner gets a record label release and infinite glory as the winner of the first ever beat battle on our Discord server. So, I have not listened to a single submission yet. It's been two weeks of pure hell. Just waiting to be able to listen to anything, seeing everyone discuss people's submissions in the Discord. It's been driving me insane, so I cannot wait to give these a listen and see who comes out on top. So the very first person to submit their track was Dormio. He submitted, I think, within like a couple days of even announcing it. So he's been waiting for a couple of weeks now. I have been dying to listen to his track for like 14 straight days. So let's give a listen and see what happens here. Nice, a little reverse on the keys, I like that. darker than I expected, that's nice. I like the way the bass kind of comes in and out, those swells are cool. That's quite the star right there. Love the use of reversing. I think the drums are super vibey. I like the way you're chopping up the bass a little bit, giving it some space to breathe, giving it that like kind of groove. That was nice. That's 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 a that's a bold start to this competition. But moving on to beat number two, we've got Soul Five Beats. I know he's nice on the sax. I'm hoping I'm gonna hear a little bit of saxophone in this, but let's see what he did.
The reharmonization is crazy. That's sick, honestly. Like, if he brought the guitar sample, it sounds like just a guitar sample from what I can tell. That was the other thing, didn't mention that rule. You only had to use one of the stems from the original sample, so this is obviously totally fine. But the reharmonization is sick. Like, brought it a whole new feeling than the original sample. This is tight. I love the washed out sax just way in the background. Very vibey, very sleepy. I like the tension. This is already gonna be a tough decision. I'm only two tracks in. <laughs> Let's see what we got. We've got Colors and Clouds next out there in here. Uh, so far, my favorite album art. Big fan of this vibe. A little reading by a window. Let's see what he did. I like that processing on that vocal pad. Another reharmonization, I'm digging this. This is cool. That's nice. Love the transition action going on. All, all three sections, really nice transition sounds. That's nice stuff. That's, that's a well-bolstered pad sound there. Great sound design. Love the ambience, love the texture. I mean, just primo. Three in a row, guys, let's go. How am I gonna pick? This is my first time hearing anything from Myopic Mycelium. I'm super excited to hear this. We've got Last Summer. Let's give it a listen. All that processing on their keys is so nice. that big sustain too just twinkles So cinematic, oh my god.
I mean, that just was huge. That was like this explosion of layers and sound, but they all mesh really well. Very, very well done. I'm super excited to hear more of your stuff. Uh, shout out to Myopic Mycelium. That is some nice work. But let's keep it rolling. We've got Clouded by the producer duo. I think you would say this depart, dep dot art. Uh, really excited to hear the first stuff that I've, or like the first fresh production I've heard from these guys. Very nicely done. I like the uh, kind of more like collaborative approach. This is definitely the way I would handle a sample like in a legitimate collab where someone sent me something, uh, not altering it too crazy much, but adding your own flavor, that is, that's clean. Those drums are crispy, that's nice. I like the hi-hat fills you got going on there. That bass tone, you're gonna tell me how you made that because I would like to use that myself. That's, that's clean. Another, another contender here. We got one from my boy Half Stop. Standing Still, another really nice cover art here, in my opinion. Uh, let's see what he did with the sample. Oh, love that mid-range guitar already. Really taking his time, getting the atmosphere established. That's a nice break there. I like that. Those pad sounds are just grabbing onto my ears. This is so good. Man, as far as sleepy beats go, this this is nice. This is nice. It's very engaging, not too repetitive. I love the guitar layers you added. This is clean stuff. I do wish the, the, the drums were thumping a little bit more, but even that, like, I mean, another, another contender. I am going to rip my hair out trying to make this decision, but we must go on. Up next, we've got The Color of Her Hair, Eddie King. I believe they go by Dreamboat Beats on 
at least Discord, I think as well on Spotify. So let's have a listen to what they did with the sample. Wow. Oh man, I love what you did with the washout guitar there. Oh, that's nice. I mean, talk about reinventing the sample. That's crazy. I mean, just like to turn such a kind of sad, melancholic sample into, I wouldn't say this is like full blown happy, but boy was I vibing. I mean, like borderline summer bop kind of vibe. That's nice, that's insane. I cannot make anything like that. So huge props to Eddie King slash Dreamboat Beats. I hate that I have to decide. <laughs> I hate that there can only be one winner. Oh my God. But next we have Chorus Gate. Chorus, Chorus God. Chorus Gate. Chorus Gate. I'm just immediately sidetracked by a name I can't pronounce. Uh, the panning there. to blow up there to like something as big as the first part. Very vibey lo-fi drums. That, that whole intro was insane. Like I love the sound design, the, the kind of impact with the, I guess like white noise, convolution type reverb yeah, going on there. Really, really nice stuff on the, the texture and like the ambience of that. I did want it to blow back up into something that full, but I actually ended up kind of liking the sparseness that you ended up with. So that's just another, you guys got some talent in this Discord server. This is crazy. Pawnside Respite by Tom Ox is up next. I do hope I'm saying that right. Tom Ox, welcome to the battle. Let's see what you did. Oh, this is, A little switch up on the chord progression. Ooh.
call and response action. I see you. Nice. All the little bends in there. That's a lovely guitar tone. You got twinkling in the back. Wow. Those vocal swells. Oh. That little, the hi hat pattern, too. I like the way you chopped up the guitar, the guitar part too. Ah, oh, I mean, just so dynamic. Every section has its own identity, but they flow so smoothly. It's not like A, B, C transition noise. Like, that's incredible. Bringing new instruments in and out and just having them like have their home. Really, really nice work on this. This is amazing. The sound design, the textures, the ambience. It's so full, but not overcrowded. Really, really well done. I cannot wait to hear more of your stuff. That's it, that's very impressive. Let's see who's next. Oh, ho, ho, let's go. We have Reflective Moments by Turtle Vibes. Looks like a beach vibe based on the album art. A couple birds in the back. Let's see if we got wave and bird textures to match this money album art. I really like the processing on this guitar. That's that's nice. Really warmed it up. The panning too. I mean, that's amazing. Boy, the sound effects are crazy. Those transitions. I like that. Little music box layer. intro and outro you nailed it with those high textures that like glitchy stuff that's super cool i never experiment with that stuff and honestly this is making me want to because that is i'm a big fan love the bell layer you added to that like piano melody that's super nice and this might be my favorite processing i've heard on my guitar sample so far so outstanding work love the guitar part you added i mean just everybody everybody is just knocking this thing out of the park and i do not know what to do but we got four left. Let's see who brought it in right before the deadline. Up next, we have Drift by Mashu Norman. Norman. Mashu Norman. Uh, I've seen Mashu around quite a bit on Discord. This is actually, I believe, one of the first pieces of music by then that I've heard. So super excited about this. I like the kind of springtime vibe. 
I like the hard stop in the title. Already setting me up for a good experience with this one, but let's see how they deliver. Mm. I like the bold panning decisions. It's it's paying off so far. That's so big. That's a nice evolution. I like those plunks. God, I just love a big reverb, man. Oh, yeah. Great use of that hit there. Oh, that's awesome. Even keeping the sample super present the whole time, I I think you did a good job keeping it super fresh. Like you added and subtracted some of the layers and like I thought I was maybe a little worried about getting sick of that hard pan, but you know, two and a half minutes in, I was still super happy with it all sitting in that left ear or maybe I have my headphones on backwards. It could be in the right ear. I'm not even entirely sure, but either way, the hard panning, loved it in the intro. Wasn't sure if you're gonna switch out of it at some point. And when you didn't, I was like, oh, maybe this was like not the best move, but I actually think it paid off. That's nice stuff. I think, yeah, like super dynamic track. I love the layers you added, the super reverbed out spacious stuff, like really just sending the guitar away in the back and chopping it up and kind of retiming it a little bit so that the hits are right where you want with the rest of your instruments. Really good stuff, really good stuff. Just another banger here. I hope the guys at Fowler Chill have a strong opinion because this is maybe the hardest decision I've ever made and I'm not even done listening yet. Passing Time by Just Josh is the next. We've got this very interesting looking AI generated clock with some fun little artifacts. This is not an AI art competition. This is a beat battle. Let's listen to Just Josh's beat for the battle. I'm sorry about that. Mm. I already love extrapolating on the piano melody. That's nice. A little toy piano kind of vibe. I can't tell if you retimed it, but maybe it's just the swing of the drums, but that really has a totally new feel.
it's like almost whimsical. I mean, not like whimsical, like it's obviously not like cheery or anything like that, but I love the, the sound selection you had on that piano part. Like very kind of like twinkly. I like the hammer textures you kept in there. I love the register you chose to put it in. Um, I did really like the guitar layer you threw on there. I do think the transitions could use a little bit of love. They felt a little bit abrupt, particularly this one at, uh, you know, 120. Uh, it just kind of jumps right into it. I'm a big fan of a little white noise swell or verse note, something of the matter. But I think you nailed the layering. Uh, you definitely transformed this, brought it into a whole new space. Really like the sound selection, really like the vibe. Great work. Two beats remain. I need a sip of water. Uh, stay hydrated, folks. Second to last, Bo Blue by Moho Music or Mojo. I've been reading this Moho and I just realized Mojo is a word. It's got to be Mojo, huh? Why would it be Moho? Mojo Music? Moho Music. Moho's Mojo got that blue bow. Yo. Fo show. Someone sign me. Oh my god, the little wobble on the guitar too. God, the reharmonization, you guys. What is going on? Oh, the space, the space. I would have filled that for sure. Dude, oh my God, the music theory, just sprinting circles around my capabilities is mind boggling. It's not the sleepiest beat in the bunch. And I know Sfaller is definitely looking for that sleepy vibe, uh, but boy, oh boy. I mean, the drum sound selection, so crisp, so clean, not like the tempting reverb to fill the space, the use of negative space in those melodies, like just letting yourself hang on that. It's impossible to resist the temptation to feel like a big gap for me. Kudos, honestly, that's so good. The bass mix, very clean. Kick, maybe, you know, the transient's not my favorite tone, but that's, I'm getting a little picky now. I mean, good golly gosh, that's just... I'm thoroughly impressed. Excellent work. Last but not least, we have Sunday Evening by Kitsuji. Kitsuji feels, feels right. Let me know if I'm not saying that correctly. Uh, but I'm very excited to hear your submission as the final submission in the first ever beat battle hosted on our Discord. We need like a, t we need like a name for our Discord. Leave a comment and let me know what we should call the server or like the community because the Luke D Discord does not roll off the tongue. You know, my artist name is Moat. My real name is Luke. We have a Discord server that makes lo-fi. Anyway, here is Sunday Evening by Kitsuji to wrap up the submissions on the first ever Discord beat battle. <laughs> 
first thunder I've heard, I think. I like the pulsating choice, that's nice. to the stereo field as well. Mm, that's nice. Love a twinkly key part coming in halfway. Oh yeah. the switch up from the original like kind of driving feel to those like really hard quarter note like pulsating feel it kind of kept going throughout I love the way you separated the three sections with sort of like three different lead melodies that was super nice I don't know I couldn't even tell did you re-time and reharmonize the guitar sample or did you record a guitar because the tone matching on that guitar that didn't sound like it's part of the original sample was absurd like i've literally never been able to match any guitar tone as closely as that is so if that is a new layer that you recorded i'm blown away especially given how badly my guitar needs a tune up i mean this was awesome this was awesome very engaging just so solid just so solid all right i gotta get on the horn with the good guys over at Svalor chill we gotta talk about what we liked what we loved and what will be the winner. So I'll be back in mere moments because of the magic of movie editing. So I will see you guys then. This was an insanely difficult decision. So many of you guys did an insane job flipping the sample. Like we had some really crazy tracks, like really, really nice production, really nice layering, really nice sound selection, sound design. It is very clear that there is an insane amount of talent in this Discord server. So shout out to everybody that sent something in. This is really impressive. But after talking to the guys at Svalor Chill, we felt that there was one submission that really kind of nailed it as far as producing to the reference playlist goes and taking a unique spin on this sample to create something that feels pretty much release ready. So without further ado, I extend a huge congratulations to none other than Half Stop for the winner of the very first beat battle. So hop over in the Discord, give him his flowers, say congratulations. He really nailed this one. It's a great track. I'm super excited to have my name alongside his on this release with Svalor Music. Huge shout out to the guys at Svalor Music as well for supporting this beat battle. Uh, I think it's really exciting that even though I'm just a small artist and a very small YouTuber, I've got some friends that are willing to help make this kind of worth everyone's while. So be sure to say thank you to those guys for helping host this beat battle and help with the judging. And of course, if you're just finding the channel now and you didn't know about this beat battle before it started, be sure to join the Discord server so that you know about the next one. We're definitely gonna be doing this again. I've got a few other friends that own labels that I think might be interested in co-hosting battles. Uh, we've got a lot of exciting stuff going on in there. It's a really fun community so far, so I'm excited to see this thing grow and just get to know all you guys a little bit better. So, 
with that, congratulations, Half Stop. I will see you guys in the Discord. Peace.